Good morning, friends. Hey, I was just thinking about today and uh, what I was going to be doing. So I think I'm going to plant out some um, more sugar peas. So anyway, um, I went ahead and soaked my peas overnight. I put these in lot yesterday <clears throat> midday. So I thought I'd just show you what I have going on. And then um, later later today, I'll be out in the garden and I'll put these in um, in at the trellis. So here's what I have going on. Okay, so I have, um, here's my containers. I have this, um, a sugar pod pea. And you see I just have them soaking in some water. And um, the idea is just to um, get that outer shell to soften up so that the germination is a little bit better. Um, this I got at the seed swap. <clears throat> and it's just a sugar pea. So um, same type of a thing as this is an or Oregon sugar pod. And then... <clears throat> I'm going to try this uh, soybean. This um, tried it last year. I didn't have any luck whatsoever, so we'll try it again this year. See if I can grow some soybeans in Oregon and uh, get a little bit of a snack. And then I just have some sweet peas that um, my girlfriend bought a package of sweet peas and I just got a couple of the seeds out of there. So we just shared. <clears throat> so there's my peas that have been soaking since midday yesterday and we'll put them out in the garden all right until then okay here we are uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit I'm pretty excited here um, this is my asparagus bed uh, I've dedicated last year. These are planted, the crowns were planted last year. Um, so, to the second year growing. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me before to take this very isolated bed and turn it into an asparagus bed, but finally saw the obvious. And here we are. We have. Um, Somewhere in here, oh here it is, where are we, um, here, I saw a little tiny start right there, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's coming, and then of course we've got one, so there's one, there's two, three, this one was the overachiever last year too got multiples three and here's one coming up right there there's four and I'm kind of thinking there should be one here somewhere but here's five this one I just want to pluck that one and eat it but I'll leave it and six and then there should be one more up here but I haven't found it yet so I think seven I think seven crowns. Anyway, here's my nemesis of a blackberry. That root goes clear underneath the foundation of um, the pump house, which is what this building is. And I could not get all of it last year, so I just have to maintain. But anyway, there's my asparagus bed, and it's growing well. And then... I guess while I have you, I will just show you the chickens. My husband's on the tractor. Chickens! These babies have oops, this area, it's wide open. Here's their little brooder area that my husband built for them. 
but they choose to stay in there still. They can totally go outside into the enclosed area for the chickens. The two hens that I have, they ran out when I come in. But all my babies are in here. Babies! Now I think maybe this afternoon I'll remove that fencing, that panel, and that way they don't have that enclosed area, but I don't know. They like it. And I'm totally going to get rid of that heat lamp. They don't need that little heat um, table. We went with this little heat, I don't know, canopy, whatever it's called, versus the heat lamp this year. And that's been amazing. Really like that. So there's babies. And then out into this is my morning routine to check on everything. There's my little lettuce that I started and into my little greenhouse. Everything seems to be going well. I moved these um, peppers, my tray of peppers, out of the house yesterday and um, put them in here. I'm hoping that everything will be fine. My tomatoes, they're just not looking that great. They're so tall and kind of thin, but I'm not giving up hope yet. There's a lot of tomatoes there. Um, when I up pot them, I'll just plant them super deep and I think they'll be okay. So anyway, my little greenhouse, I've got to get these into the ground, all my beets. And if anybody wants Brussels sprouts, I have all of those are Brussels sprouts. I think every single one germinated. Oh my goodness. So that's that. And my two little house plants that I was trying to revive. Okay. Oh, and then there's all those. Um, I've got some dill and some flowers and my little onions there that I am trying to, they're just like green onions. And then I have, um, what is this? Cabbage, collards, broccoli, broccoli, kale, 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 a couple more onions. Anyway, this is off my little, this was my little hardening off area, kind of secluded, um, but they're fine. They're totally fine. So, okay, then we'll wander to the barn see what's going on there. Okay, down into the barn. Here's your water bug. Want that? Here's your water. Kalani, out doing chores. Yeah. All sorts of projects going on. We're gonna move the goat. Looks like the round pen was getting tilled up. The berm pile's getting rototilled around so we can light it off. Here's a new fence area for the goat, temporary, just because he's out and uh, he's done a fantastic job mowing this down, so that's good. Hi, baby. Are you working? So that's it for now. <laughs>